Alright lads, so the brand new Christmas banner does drop tomorrow, but before the banner does drop, before we do summon on that banner tomorrow, I'm only going to be doing a few steps. Today, we're here to do some cheeky summons on the tickets that I have acquired over the last couple of months, or just weeks for the most part. Now, the main reason I'm actually making this video is because we actually received a decent pack that's actually worth buying. I've already bought it. It's the Cyber Monday pack, where it's essentially, you choose five characters, and it only costs you like 10 or so dollars. Now, for most people out there, it's actually not worth buying, but for me personally, as someone that does spend money in the game, a choose five characters and get one of the five for ten pounds is probably some of the best valued packs that you can get from this game in the last couple years and for the most part it's the first time that Caleb have actually done a pack a black friday slash cyber monday pack that's actually worth buying the last five or so years have been overpriced packs that aren't worth buying in this case personally to me from my point of view it's worth buying so that's what we're here to do today now before we do jump into that let me see how many accessory tickets do we have so not that many <laughs> but we'll just use them right in the hopes to get a golden accessory here um I'm not sure when the last time I got a golden accessory. Obviously, the main goal is to get a golden five-star chappy. A technique or a heart one is going to be the, the goal for today with the limited tickets that we do have. We're probably going to walk away with nothing here. That's kind of expected when the rates are 0.5%. That said, though, we did actually get news today. Um, that the Epic Raid actually does offer you a 5-star ticket, um, a 5-star accessory ticket, and the ticket is limited to only Soripa characters, or t uh, accessory that is going to give you a buff to Soripa, Squad Zero, or Captain characters. So, I'm hoping, when that does drop tomorrow morning, the rates are actually good for it, because again, it's not guaranteed, we don't know if it's guaranteed, like, a T-set, for example, so we have to wait and see exactly how that ticket does play out, but I'm kind of excited for it, hopefully, it's good rates. What isn't good, though? Are these tickets right here? So we have 45 more. Uh, obviously, we're looking for the golden accessory light. Can we get one? Nope, we're going to skip that. Let's just bash these out. I'm currently about to get on my limit for my accessory space. Okay, four star, we skip that. Next one. Can it surprise us? Come on, Caleb. Please? Nope. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm used to it at this point, right? This, this is expected. I'm not even surprised. And then our next one. What's it going to be? Survive? Ah, okay. You know what? I'm not even going to waste our time doing those two extra tickets. So, let's see exactly what we have when it comes to these summon tickets. So, I do have actually a lot saved up. I still have like 1,500 uh, Brave Soul summon tickets. I should be on like 2,000 right now, but I have been just using them in my spare time because I'm kind of just getting eager to use them. Uh, hopefully, at the end of the year, so a month away from now, we actually get an original character because then I would actually use all my tickets then. Um, otherwise, I'm probably going to save it for the 7th anniversary. Uh, so, we're going to dish out these golden tickets right now. Because we only have like, what, 27 of them. Probably isn't going to give us anything too good. Not going to skip this because there's a whole the chance here. There isn't, unfortunately. So now we have seven more. Let's just bang them out. Come on, Caleb. Let's get some five stars. That's a five star. Okay. Who's it going to be? Let me get Giriko. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, is that new? I think it might be, you know. Oh, it is. Okay. I was actually thinking it was Senbon Zakura. That's new. We take that. Let's skip it, though. Nice. Oh, and we got Tsukushima. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. So, a new character. Already right there, lads. I've made I made orbs back. That is an absolute dub right there. I made profit, so we're not going to complain from those golden tickets. Now, let's move up to what we actually have here. So, we're going to keep the birthday tickets and the five-star tickets because they can be anything. So, there's actually a reason to actually save these. Um, this quest ticket right here includes every character that came out until, what, a week ago? Two weeks ago? So pretty much every premium character is in this. Hopefully we can get something good here. Uh, the end goal, I think, for today is our Pikachu go. And we've got 3rd anniversary Okura. That's not bad. That right there might be a 5 out of 5 3rd anniversary Okura. And I'm kind of setting myself a goal to try and 5-5 five five all the anniversary characters. So that's pretty good, actually. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Um, after that, we have the Iceberg of Perseverance. I didn't stream Senkum on this month because I didn't have time to do some. But... Helping get, you know, we have, a, we have like a 1 in 60 chance to get our Pikachu go, please. Just don't be Aizen. <laughs> Imagine it is. Um. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I forgot you can get seasonals in this. So, I think this has baited me twice. I think I've gotten Lolly twice from this ticket. I can't remember what I got last month. I thought that was Parasol Sun Sun because I know she's actually in this ticket and I don't have her. This character's a bonus for the next upcoming Epic Raid. Not that good in my opinion. That was kind of just a rip pull. Uh, she's only 2-5, so a bit of a meh pull right there. After that, we have the 5-star ticket for the Black Friday one. I have no idea who's actually in this. I believe Desert Ichigo's in this. I don't even want him. Uh, I don't think I can even get a new character here, so I'm really just boy for transpoints. Or a good dupe. And we got 
Kensa Zangetsu, who already have 5-5. Five, five. Ew. <laughs> I've basically transpointed at that point. All right, so we're going to skip over the Cyber Monday pack. We're going to skip over this one and that and that. That's pretty much all it is when it comes to these. I do have the Choose a Six Star ticket, the beginner's one that came out a while back. But as you can see, I don't need one here. So I'm going to probably save that until I maybe need a character 5-5. Five, five. Now, before we do, use the Choose a Six Star ticket. Let's bash out a hundred of these just because we're here we might as well use it hopefully we can get an eyes and fake out i uh, hope we get like a five in one a seven in one would be great hopefully it's just not two or three there is a five star there lads so we, we got we got something here but can it be something that we want susan mabachi that's not what we want to see that's not what we want to see she's a dodge link a good one at that but dodge is just bad uh hopefully if we tap it there's a five star oh my god ah uh. <laughs> I really should learn the new character's quotes. I thought that was the new sergeant. Oh, this, this is the bad one. All right, come on. Give us another one. Nice. Okay, Baragon. Okay. He just received his resurrection recently. He's okay. He might be 5-5 five, five now. Can we get a fourth? Ah, oh, tragic. Unfortunate. So, three old five stars. You know what? Just because we're here, lads. Just for you, lads. I'm going to do another 100. I should really I should really save these, but we're desperate. I want something new. I know we got Sembo and Zaku, but I want another new character. Come on. That's a five star. Let me get Sergeant. I wouldn't mind getting Sergeant on any of the new characters. Ew. OG characters. That's Zyapro. Maybe we're manifesting a mid month Zyapro, the clone one. All right, let's get a second. Ew. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're not, we're not using any more of this. All right, so let's, let's go into the um, the Choose a Six Star. The Cyber Monday pack, which in my opinion is actually worth buying if you can guarantee yourself a new character. And that's the big question. Can I guarantee myself a new character? Can get Paris or Sun Sun here. Okay. Can get Nemu. I think I have her at Six Star. And that's it. Yoikes. That is a yoikers in my opinion. Okay. But... There are some still decent characters that are worth picking up, in my opinion, from my point of view. And that is going to be these three characters. Three characters that I want to get 5-5 five, five and actually useful in GQ. So, at the very least, right here, I'm going to walk away with somewhat dub. We're either going to get a new character, hopefully Sun Sun, because she's the oldest character I'm missing in terms of a 5 and 6 star. I'm pretty sure I have Christmas Nemu at 6 star. Now, Yoroichi and also the Renji would also be very good for GQ. I more so want the other two over Yoroichi because she's going to be more common than these two characters. So, I kind of want to pick up Neliel from here. So, let's see how it goes. Um, either way, we're getting our money's worth. £10 for like 70 orbs and a guaranteed good character of my choice. We'll take it. So, who's it going to be? Let it be uh, Sun Sun. It's Nelly O, right? Nice. Okay, we'll take it. And that was actually the new quote. If you don't know about Nelly O, her quote was actually like similar to the very old one. So that was a new quote that they put into the game recently, a few months back. So I would take Nelly O. It's okay. I'll take it. I got my money's worth. I kind of wanted to, so not too bad. So that's it, lads. That was the short sun video for today. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know if you did actually pick up the pack. Um, for those that did pick it up and are kind of wondering who you should actually pick for, um, just pick whoever you want, really. There's the most characters in the pack are actually good. The higher up the character is, the more new they are. So if you go right to the bottom, they're going to be older characters. Characters. Maybe they're worth picking up for resurrection orbs, but at the end of the day, most new characters are usable. Sure, there are some better characters, but it comes down to whoever you want to get. If you like the character, then go pick them, right? But if you do have a question on who you should pick, let me know in the comments below. I can maybe help you out. That said, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next one.